I'm Ken Pooch Van Druten. I'm Kevin Tater McCarthy. Welcome to the Tater Audio World Headquarters, where we are locked, locked up, up with the Digico. In this video, we would like to show you how to do a quick and easy line check and how I set up my pink noise to work for both speakers and IEM testing. We're also going to show how Pooch and I set up our matrix mixer and some relating macros. We all know how to do a line check, but Digico has really given us a cool tool to listen to all our inputs quickly and easily under one tap. Tater and I use this whenever we need to do a tap through line check. Doing a tap through line check through your dynamic processing is difficult and requires you to disengage several parts of your channel processing just to hear that a line is working. Under Setup, Audio I.O., select the stage rack, then Cards and Sockets. Select the line check in the Card Setup box, and while looking at the Socket Setup box, you can select any input in the rack and listen, apply Phantom Power, and see the Gain Knob and Meter. By selecting any input in this window with the listen button engaged, it sends the mic pre to the solo bus and allows you to hear the selected input without any channel processing. This makes for a very quick line check when you have access to all of your inputs in one page. The next thing I would like to show you is how I set up my matrix mixer for Iron Maiden. When it comes to feeding the drive rack and speakers, I use my matrix mixer in a pretty standard way. I source all my speaker outputs directly from my master left and right. My outputs to speakers are left, right, vocal front fill special, and regular front fill. Notice that I don't use a separate subsend for Iron Maiden, as I have control of the separate speakers in my drive rack. Left and right, sub, side left and right, delays, etc. are all on a lake processor. So all I need to feed the drive rack is left and right. The vocal front fill special is something specific to Iron Maiden. It is a mix of Bruce's vocal with all of his effects and nothing else. This is downstage center to add intelligibility in an area that is not typically covered by the main left and right. Regular front fill is sourced from the master bus and is a mono send to all the other front fill boxes. Some other typical matrix mixes are my record matrix, which is sourced from a group that is different from my master left and right. I do this so that I can process this group a bit differently to be more of a compressed broadcast mix. There are several outputs derived from the record group. I send a mono press feed and a stereo feed that goes to a recording in several places, including the video recording backstage and my virtual playback recording here at front of house. I also use my matrix mixer to handle the various different sources that are in my shout speaker. All the tech talkbacks and monitor talkbacks are sourced here and sent out a mono send to my shout speaker. One last thing I want to show you in my matrix mixer is how I utilize it for rehearsals. I have two different speaker systems when I do rehearsals. One is a pair of Genelec near field speakers, and the other is the Clara Cohesion CP6. I use the same sub for both sets of speakers, but the relationship to that sub is different because one is a near field and the other represents a larger PA box. I use the matrix mixer to source from my two solo buses, one for each speaker system. Notice the relationships to the sub for both speaker sets is different. While I'm here in the matrix mixer, I want to show you a macro I have created that helps me in the afternoon when my system engineer needs to tune the PA and I need to work on virtual playback. In normal operating conditions, the master bus left and right feeds the PA matrix outputs. The macro I made turns off the master left and right to the PA outputs and turns on a noise channel that is an output of a smart rig. The system engineer can continue to do component checks and alignment while I can still work on virtual playback with some headphones. We both can get done what we need to do at the same time. This is how I set up my matrix mixer. 
I have two solo buses on the Q7. I set solo one as a mono bus for my Q wedge and solo two as a stereo bus for my IEMQ. I send my stereo bus to two matrix inputs and assign the outputs of the matrix to two physical outputs on the SD rack. I can now mix inputs like talkbacks into my solo bus. I send my IEM mixes to the aux outputs and are patched to the SD rack. I also create a spare path by bringing the IEM left and right into two inputs of the matrix mixer. They are patched to two different matrix outputs going to the spare IEM transmitter. I believe when creating a spare, you should change the entire path. I have created a macro that switches input paths to the spare IEM mix. And here it is. I have also set up a macro that allows me to send any one of my mixes to the spare. And here it is. I run two channels of pink noise to check the speakers and the IEMs. The first channel is sent to the speakers and the left hand side of the IEMs. The second channel is sent to the right hand side of the IEMs. I then hard pan all my stereo auxes that are sourced from the pink noise channels. Then I use my aux out masters to control the level going to the speakers. On the IEMs, I use the receiver to control the volume of the pink noise and the channel mutes to verify left and right. Thanks for watching. You can find us on social media at Wrong End of the Snake.